Hey guys, welcome to a little bit of this and that. Welcome to this week's meal prep. Uh, It's all freezer meals this week. They didn't start off as freezer meals, but I made them into freezer meals and they worked fine, so that's great. Uh, We're going to do Korean beef, Dr. Pepper pulled pork sandwiches, a ravioli lasagna, and easy club chicken. First, we're going to do the Korean beef. So you're going to do a half a cup of soy sauce, a third a cup of brown sugar, a half a teaspoon of pepper, a half a teaspoon of onion powder. I was using a quarter teaspoon on these, that's why I was doing two of them. Two tablespoons of ginger, which is so much ginger. Two tablespoons of sesame oil, which smelled so yummy. It smelled so good in my kitchen after I prepped this and while this was cooking. Two tablespoons of rice vinegar, five cloves of garlic, three quarters of a cup of beef broth, and then whisk it together. And then after I would put it in the freezer, I, re- I remembered that you were supposed to also do one tablespoon of gochujang, which I'm sure I'm not saying correctly. Um, so I had added it to the bag at that time and it mixed just fine. So you're going to take your beef and you're going to cut it into cubes, pour the liquid over it. And then I'm going to show you the bag here, which lists all the directions, because this one has more to do. It's not just a dump and go necessarily. So this is a few days later when I was cooking it. Put it in the slow cooker, six to eight hours on low. About 30 minutes before you're ready to eat, you're going to add a quarter cup of beef broth with one to two tablespoons of cornstarch that you've whisked together. And then you're going to put it on high for 20 to 30 minutes. I did have to do two tablespoons of cornstarch to get it to thicken up. And we just served over rice and it was super yummy. Definitely going to make this again. Uh, Dr. Pepper pulled pork sandwiches is a favorite in our house. So I just wanted to show what I do with the buns. I just transfer them to a freezer bag and then I just put them in the freezer. And then I pull them out the morning that we're having the pulled pork and it works just fine like they're still soft so I was making a couple of pulled pork recipes because my kids are doing virtual learning and they love pulled pork sandwiches so just kind of ignore the other two bags but so after you've trimmed the fat off of the pork you're going to pour in a can of Dr. Pepper you're going to do a teaspoon of garlic powder a teaspoon of onion powder, a pinch of pepper, and a teaspoon of seasoned salt. Super easy, super simple. So then this is a few days later. I put it into the crock pot. It's gonna go on low six to eight hours, and then you'll shred it just looks like that and then obviously put it on the bun with barbecue sauce and I just wanted to show you what the buns look like from frozen so there's a little condensation but once you open the bag it's perfectly fine and you can eat it like days later of course so super yummy so this is our ravioli lasagna I did this really simple you could really change this and make it more complicated if you want. I just spray an 8x8 pan. You could obviously do a bigger pan if you have more people to feed. I use marinara sauce, just covered the bottom. And then you're going to take freezer cheese ravioli and just line it as if it were lasagna. And then I do this like random one up there on the top. I don't know why I did that. And then you're gonna cover with sauce, just like you would lasagna. So obviously here you could add any type of ground beef or sausage. Um, I've seen some people do like cottage cheese or ricotta here. I just do mozzarella cheese. And because I felt like with the cheese ravioli, it would be way too cheesy if you added like cottage cheese and stuff. I will admit right on this layer, I should have done more mozzarella cheese, but it was still really cheesy. And then just layer those ravioli. And you could of course do more layers. I just did two and it was plenty for my family. So 
cover with the marinara. I ended up using about one and a half of those jars just to give you an idea for your own family and how big you would need. When I cooked it, I did put a pan under it just in case it went over. Cover with mozzarella. This was super simple. After making those three pulled pork recipes right before this, I was sort of, was sort of over it. So I made this one really simple. I just double up the foil. I know some people do plastic and then the foil, which could work too. Just remember to remove the plastic before you cook it. So this I cooked on 375, covered for 60 minutes, and I had pulled it out the morning of, and then you remove the foil and cook 20 to 30 minutes at the 375. Super yummy. So I try really hard to plan my meals a couple of weeks ahead. I'm usually like two to three weeks ahead. And the reason why is in case I have anything that I could sort of prep early. So I knew that I had chicken in today's meal prep. And so I also have a recipe next week that uses only about one and a half um, chicken breasts. And so I, and it needed to be cut into cubes. So that is ready for next week's meal prep, which I'll show you next week. So this is the Easy Club chicken. So I took the chicken and I just cut it into like smaller pieces. You could use chicken tenders too, obviously, because these are basically chicken tenders. So you mash up some club crackers. I use an entire sleeve and then you're going to add a whole packet of the Italian dressing mix. Spread it out. This is four tablespoons of melted butter, which believe it or not, was enough for that amount of chicken. I was actually really surprised. So I just made sure to spray the pan with cooking spray. You do the butter, you do the crackers, put it in the pan. So when I cooked this, I did not pull it out of the freezer in advance. And so it obviously took a little longer. Um, the recipe itself says that if it's thawed, it would take 60 minutes to cook. Um, and I tried to cook it and it wasn't cooking fast enough because it was frozen. So I did air fry it. And so air frying at 375, it took about 45 minutes and they were super crispy. And the ones that I cooked in the oven, it took like an hour and a half from frozen. So, and they were not nearly as crispy. So you decide how you want to cook it, but either way it tasted delicious and my kids loved it. So thanks so much for watching. See you next week. Bye.